What is good, everybody? Today we are here at day two, or day officially number one, I guess, of San Diego Comic Con. Man, they put out some new stuff in the booth. We had the Mattel panel that happened earlier today, and we're gonna go through the booths and review all of the brand new shish. We took a look at this. If you guys missed our preview night stuff, then you definitely need to go check that out. But now we're gonna dive into the newer stuff. So join me, and we're gonna cover everything that is brand new in these different cases. All right, man. So the big news today was the announcement of the Ringside exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition C. Punk, which should be up for pre-order right now. Now, if it's already gone, I'm sure they're going to restock this figure 784 times so you can get in on that, but I think that they knocked this out of the park for the most part. I'm not the biggest fan of these head sculpts. I think there is lightness there, but I think that some of these other head sculpts, like the yelling head sculpt's a little bit odd. It kind of has a, I don't know, kind of an Ultimate Edition RBD thing going or a Randy Orton thing where it, I don't think it quite nails the likeness in some of these head sculpts, but the smirking one right here is phenomenal. I think they did a fantastic job on that. It's sort of a modern take. I could see them repainting that and putting that on modern CM Punks, but they nailed the formula on this. I love that they used the Sami Zayn torso. I think that is the Sami Zayn torso, which is exactly how we kind of fantasy book this figure going forward. I remember saying multiple times, you know, if they do the Money in the Bank Elite 16 Ultimate Edition version of CM Punk, that it would have the blowing kiss face. It would have those go to sleep hands slash blowing the kiss hands in there. It would have the white elbow pad, the WWE spinner on the perfect formula with the butterfly joints, with the kick pad feet with the Ultimate Edition. Throw in the shirt, which it is going to include. I'm not sure. I did ask around. They don't know yet if it's going to have the Velcro or it's going to be screen printed on there without the Velcro. We'll have to see. But this figure does look damn good. I think they nailed it for the most part. And even if you take off the blowing kiss face, you take off the yelling face right there, just put the smirking head on there and it is a damn perfect figure. I think even the graphics and the stars on the attire look very good. But I think for the most part, they did pretty much nail exactly what they were going for and everything that we kind of fantasy booked or had up top in our brains and our heads it pretty much came to fruition perfectly i think the leg the legs are the perfect thickness you have the perfect torso in there i think that this is a banger and it is going to sell it multiple times over probably gonna be the hottest selling figure of the year by far and definitely going to be up there for one of the best ultimate editions that they've ever made i think that once we see it with all the bells and whistles with the shirt with everything on display i think everybody is going to really really love the CM punk and i have really enjoyed looking at it. i mean it just looks so damn good man and it looks like I mean, we should get this by before Christmas. I mean, I imagine this is going to be available in the next few months. So we'll have to see about that. I, I mean, this is a really early sample or whatever, but we'll have to see what comes of it. But this is not all that we got today. And then we're moving over to the Superstars line, and they unveiled a decent amount of Superstars right here, man. Up front, we do have a brand new Eddie Guerrero with the LWO shirt. I just love the stylized versions of these, man. I mean, you have such a good collection here, and this is missing so many figures from the line already. So I can imagine if you had a big display case like this, you had a detail and you filled it up and you put it on spice racks or whatever and you had them all layered it would really look like a classic video game or something but i really dig the eddie guerrero with the head sculpt right there the eddie guerrero i think they nailed it right here with this prototype head sculpt and then we also have jake the snake with this very unique green shirt that i don't feel like you see a lot of the times then we also have ricky the dragon steamboat which looks good i feel like he's been on a tear lately with his figures including the new basic figures that we're getting of ricky the dragon steamboat so i like the the ricky the dragon steamboat a lot so was pretty proud to see these superstar figures getting into retros we do have a few bunches of different retros right here starting out first we do have miss elizabeth over here in white we have rip and zeus including the new world championship which i think look really good the colors on these just pop really well so i like these a lot you know they had to get the most out of zeus and rip you know they had to they had to stress it i think the rip looks better than the zeus obviously but i am glad to be getting another zeus figure in the line right there you know they gotta they gotta pump him out they gotta get as much out of that license as they possibly can and then we also have sensational sherry over here with the cloth goods kind of difficult to get an angle here but i like the gear it's kind of a different gear here in the black and silver but she's looking pretty good over there and up front we have some more modern retros right here with the bloodline four pack that is going to be ringside exclusive so you're going to have solo sokoa up front we have the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso in the hat, which I like a lot because it differentiates between Jay and Jimmy with the hat. And then you do have Jay Uso at the end here. And I think all these look good and the render form of these looked really, really good. So I was glad to see that. I do like that Jimmy and Jay both have the finger point of the sky, you know, the We The Ones hands, but the Roman Reigns with the, you know, the arm hammer there. And then you do have Solo Sako with a really good likeness. So I think all four of these looked good. And I like that they're getting away from kind of the retros, you know, giving you more of a modern take 
take on the retros, including these as a Bloodline four pack or two two packs, so ringside collectible. So I think these will be up for order soon. All right, and starting off in the left corner up here, we do have Elite Series 114, or at least five of the figures, I think, that are going to be on display right here. Jade is no longer right here. I don't know if she'll be out on display tomorrow or what the case is right there, but we do have a look at her jacket, which looks pretty good with the chrome pieces and the jade on the back. And then we do have the guest of Comic-Con, or one of the guests that was Zoe Stark right here with the half light blue and half red. Pretty good formula in there. I think they did a pretty good job here, and you'll notice that her kick pads are a new mold, and hopefully this will be the mold that they use on Becky Lynch and, and women like that because now that they won't have the damn basic feet so i think that is a huge upgrade she has the knee braces in there good skin tone on there i think the zoe starts looks pretty damn good so i think they did a pretty phenomenal job on her first figure and i want to say i can't remember who the chase is in this set but i want to say it was zoe stars but i guess we'll find out we also have main event yeet jay uso here no crop top shirt which is kind of shocking and surprising they really do need to add that i don't know how they're not but this is the elite 114 jay uso we did see the top picks version which i think is still in this booth somewhere i think he's on the other side or something like that but we do have a look at this jay uso i don't think this is the a different one i think this is new you'll see that he does have the brand new cena shoe mold or the you know the new shoe mold that we're here that is the same shoe mold that we saw in kofi kingston which is getting rid of the older you know cena shoe mold that we despise so much so getting this here you know he's doing his entrance there it looks really really good really nice looking and i hate the elite 106 legs but hopefully combined with this john cena shoe mold this newer john cena shoe mold or this newer sneaker mold will look pretty damn good but we also have braun breaker here with this overthrow right there which looks absolutely insane really cool singlet with the wolf up front and then we do have his new boots as well in the all black you're kind of a plain you know plain jane gear but it'll kind of match you know hit the rick steiner figure from elite 104 so it's, it's okay it's okay i mean look at this you can't even see his head sculpt in there so dark but pretty cool figure with braun breaker and then we have jimmy uso which is a really good standout man i always call it the dylan brooks head sculpt because it looks just like dylan brooks i mean my god this man should be playing overseas somewhere but i like this figure a lot this new jogger mold looks insane and you'll see that on the lower legs we have these new cuffs and joggers with this new sneaker mold that they are using also on the mattel creation cm punk down here so this is the new you know same shoe mold it's the ultimate edition mold which i think is so genius and i like it a lot it will that they're gonna have to make some other mold though for cena because if you look at this cena shoe mold if they're gonna make a new cena shoe mold like this these will not work because you're kind of missing the tongue and the cuff around the edges of the ankles but we'll have to see about that but i really popped hard for these legs this is a really nice leg mold. Hopefully, it'll feel good in hand. But the jogger, this new jogger mold looks fantastic. Hopefully, they'll use that on guys like Finn Balor or something moving forward. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Jimmy Uso looks really damn good. So that, that one looks – this actually – I think I like the Jimmy more than the J. And the J has a lot more going on with it. And he's a fan favorite. But I like this new leg mold on Jimmy Uso. But – Outside of that, again, we do have Jade's jacket that looks really good. No figure on display. I'll ask Steve if we expect to see her on display or any other figures, but I guess Jade's going to be a part of Elite 114. I can't remember off the top of my head, but these look pretty damn good. I'm, I, I'm excited for them. Not the most exciting Braun Breaker, in my opinion, but it, at least you added some cool accessories here to kind of upgrade it and everything, but I am digging the way all of these figures look for the most part, but I think the Jimmy Uso, and I don't know about the Jade. We did see a render of the Jade figure, but the Jimmy Uso kind of won the day in terms of the display right here. And I think the last thing that is on display here that's fresh is going to be the new Coliseum Collection Series number 6 featuring Bam Bam Bigelow and Big Boss Man. We have this brand new Bam Bam in Ultimate Edition form, brand new head sculpts, and he also features two other as well that are interchangeable. Very good likeness and head sculpts here. A damn good Ultimate Edition. Should feel immaculate in the hand. All his tattoos on there. Even the skull tat looks very, very promising as well. And we're including the shirt here, which I didn't expect to ever include with the Bam Bam figure. So Bam Bam getting all the accessories looks very, very good. Good attire choice as well second bam bam that we kind of saw in this whole reveal day of san diego comic-con and then we do have the big boss man here that looks very good as well another guy that i wouldn't expect to see in ultimate edition form but i'm glad they're doing so in the coliseum collection to, to, you know continues to improve continues to look very good like this strap going across there on both sing on on the top part of the torso into the bottom and you don't get that separation break right there which i think is an interesting design choice has the handcuffs has the night baton that does clip onto the belt right there which is another great detail and then he does have the, you know, the baggy pants there, and he even has the ball and chain down there, which is another really unique accessory with the pointer hand on Big Boss Man, like the glasses and everything. Great looking Boss Man, definitely the best Boss Man we've ever seen. And then we have some interchangeable heads here that do look good. You have longer handcuffs, you have some interchangeable hands, yelling head sculpt, stern face, and then you have another kind of gritting face here with the sunglasses. So big boss man. I'm not even like the biggest boss man fan of all time, but that that's a damn good figure. Both of these pop me hard. Really good set right here. It, it's going to be arguable for one of the better Coliseum collection packs you'll find from Mattel Creations so far. So this pack was a was a huge W. 
Then one thing I forgot to show off was the packaging sample for the Mattel Creations Exclusive Return Survivor Series 2023 CM Punk figure right here. And it looks pretty good, man, on car. Not the most exciting thing of all time, but it's kind of that moment where he walks out of the curtain. So I think it takes care of it, but you get the interchangeable shirt and everything. We showed this off yesterday, but they did put the packaging sample out here. So I wanted to include that in today's video. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the second day. Obviously they didn't show off as much. Now I'm not gonna really put any panel stuff in here. I might do a video reacting to the panel, but you guys know once we get back home, we'll do the reacting to every elite, reacting to every ultimate, breaking down everything that we saw, what I like, what I don't like, all those different things. But that is gonna wrap it up for day number two of comic-con i think they said they're going to reveal some more stuff tomorrow we'll have to find that out tomorrow i guess obviously don't have a damn magic ball to see into the future so we'll have to see man but that is going to wrap the video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i will catch you guys later